guys. Great to be here today. Great to see some familiar and new faces. My name is Mona. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Some Frogs. It feels like a full circle. Uh, I was volunteering at Slosh six years ago. I never even heard about startups or entrepreneurship in general. I was roaming around watching some people talking on the stage. So it feels super crazy being at the stage today. Today, I'm going to share a bit about our vision, what we have been working on, um, and yeah, how we see the future of the internet. But for you to understand uh, why we're even building in this space, um, let's look at through some of the problems we have identified. Maybe you also can identify yourself in it. Firstly, the current landscape is super fragmented. On average, we browse through seven different platforms. We save links and bookmarks in these different various platforms. Um, but we are creating these fragmented digital spaces. Actually, we are missing out on opportunities of really getting the full potential of things we actually collect from online. It leaves us disoriented and frustrated. Secondly, these platforms were designed to foster connections. But instead, it seems like it fosters division. We are in these eco chambers that are pushing us to two different ends of the spectrum. Polarization will hurt humanity. Algorithms are pushing us deep into our own bubbles that we can't control and escape. Thirdly, um, fear, snark, negativity. Is that the reflection of us or businesses? This was what Michael Siebel tweeted a few weeks ago about Twitter's For You page. These For You pages are turning into fast food. The algorithms are constantly pushing very addictive content that we can't even control. Maybe this reminds a little bit of Nokia <laughs> era of connecting people, but we do believe that this landscape can change. But what we need is different type of builders. If these platforms that are used by billions of people are always centered around San Francisco or Asia, we won't see difference in the internet. What I learned through Slosh and Altius is that entrepreneurship in a nutshell is that you see a problem and you're really looking at, you want that there would be a better solution for that. If you're an entrepreneur, you take ownership. You solve that, you solve that problem. And that's what we did. We took ownership. So everybody has been asking me, what the hell is some frogs? Where did the name even come from? Actually, frogs are one of the most resilient uh, animals. They are quite overlooked, um, but they are very persistent and resilient. They live in every climate. They survive in every climate. It's a reflection of our team. Our team's grit and persistency in bring, bringing a product, product to life that we believe in. But today, I'm here to present our product name. Arca, a portal to your world. So we are in a mission on reimagining how content is shared and discovered. Arca is a cross-media platform where you can curate across different webs. If you're a content owner, you can integrate content and create your portal quite seamlessly, so a centralized digital space. But I can explain a bit more how, can you, how you can utilize and build your Arca. Firstly, um, when you consume content uh, and you collect across different, different parts and various platforms, you can actually curate it in your Arca uh, in, in our product. So what the Arca does is that it actually, you can, it connects dots between content that you have curated. Within your Arca, it expands your thinking. You can actually decide who you give access to in your Arca. In your Arca, you can also co-create with other people around topics that you both seem and deem important. The Arca is a reflection of who you are and what you're into. Secondly, when I was talking about polarization, in Arca, it actually sees your different identities and connects you to different people. Um, that is super important. For here, for instance, Arca recognized my human rights side and also my entrepreneurship side, continuously connecting me to other curators around those topics. And thirdly, um, 
as we can't really control discoveries in current platforms, in Orca, you can take control. So if you're into certain topics, you can hop into a rabbit hole to another. You can actually chat to it, uh, depending on what you're feeling like consuming on that day. For instance, if I work, I might consume content that is work-related, but if I go home, my feed looks quite similar. But in your Arca, you can start modifying your discovery and talk to it. It recognizes the tone um, of, com of the communication. Um, still, we are powered by recommendation systems, but recommendation systems that you can actually control. Um, so we are an early, early startup. We raised our pre-seed round this summer from LifeLive Ventures and just the most incredible angels that a founder can ever have. We're a team of six from the Nordics dedicated in building this product to life. Um, our first beta users actually can onboard themselves and build their Arcas in February. These people are content creators and curators that already have these online communities. They will be introducing their Arcas to their online communities, turning their communities also to build their Arcas uh, in our product. On March, we'll be introducing a desktop version of it uh, to give more flexibility and onboarding the first brands that also co create content and want this centralized uh, digital space. Uh, April, we'll be introducing our advanced discovery, and on May, we'll be offloading our waitlist. So if you see yourself wanting your own ARCA, you can actually go to our website um, and get access uh, through that. Our first beta users are the most incredible people from London and California. So we have been global from the jump. They have been recruiting more people for us, so we are quite community uh, driven, um, which is super great. And yeah, lastly, I invite you all uh, to the next decade of the internet. Um, I might end this talk with um, a proverb that is one of the ethos of our companies is a Somali proverb that is Hora which means move forward. And to that, we are moving forward with absolute dedication, bringing a product to life that the world deserves. Thank you.